Paul Beasley with you through till six o'clock on The Drive Show. Now, what do you do when you're diagnosed with two brain tumours and you find that there is little in the way of support in your local area? Well, that was the situation Jeannie Bell, a counsellor in St Helens, found herself in. So, what did she do? Well, you'll find that out in a few moments. I talked to Jeannie earlier and I started by asking her to take me through what had actually happened to her. Last year, I collapsed at work and had a seizure. Prior to that, I've had kind of symptoms for about two years, but I'd never really identified them as a huge problem. I'd just kind of trucked along and just kind of went with it uh, until I had this seizure. Um, They did some investigations and eventually it turned out that I had two brain tumours. So I was finally diagnosed in October and it's been a little bit of a whirlwind since then. And when this happened, Jeannie, how easy or difficult was it to access support locally? For me, I think because I'm, I work within that system, I know where all of the support networks are. So I know where the carer centres are and where the young carer centres are for my children. I know how to refer myself into the public health teams. What I struggled with was specific brain tumour support and contacting other people who were going through similar things, who could share advice and stories. And I did a lot of research um, and spent a lot of time on the internet. And I think thinking about how long it took me to kind of map everything out made me want to make it easier for other people. So I contacted the Brain Charity, who are a charity in Liverpool, but they offer support all over the Northwest. And approached them and said, you know, would you consider under your umbrella thinking about having a support group in St. Helens? And they absolutely went for it. They were fantastic. Um, And it's gone from there, really. What kind of response did you get from other people? Once you put this out there and the, 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 the group in Liverpool said, yeah, we'd love to, to help you with this. But locally, did you, did you find that there was a good response? Yeah, I mean, I've spent quite a few months. It's been quite a slow process. So I met with the public health team in St. Helens. They loved the idea and were on board. Um, Met with a couple of other quite high-profile brain tumour sufferers in St. Helens. So a gentleman called Steve White, who has a grade 4 geoblastinoma. He's fundraising for treatment in India. And a gentleman called Mike Lindley, who is on Twitter as Ralph's Life. He presents a radio show. He was suddenly diagnosed with a brain tumour and operated on within a week. Um, So I kind of met with those two, had a chat with them about, you know, the problems and the things that they'd faced. Um, And it, it all came together shortly after that and people have been fantastic about it you know uh, momos were just brilliant i went to have a chat to the owner of momos and she just said yeah we'd love to host it um so it's up to now it's been really positive which is you know it's such a good thing we're just hoping to raise enough awareness so people know where we are and that they can get the help and support that they need so how much difference do you think this group will make once it gets up and running Well, I'm hoping it'll make a massive difference to people's health and well-being. Being diagnosed with a brain tumour is really traumatic, not just for you as a sufferer, but also for your family. And you're almost in a state of shock. And I think if there's a place where people can come and they can get kind of centralised advice, they can get linked into services locally and see exactly what's happening and what support they can get, hopefully it'll make a huge difference. So, Jeannie, tell us uh, where you're going to be meeting and how people can find out more about the group. So we're going to be meeting at Momo's Coffee Shop in St. Helens on the 6th of September for our first meeting at 6 o'clock. Um, and if you want any more information, you can contact the Brain Charity on 0800 008 6417 or info at uk. and if you look for me on Twitter um, at Councillor Jeannie Bell you can send me a direct message and I can give you any information you need. And Jeannie finally how are you feeling yourself now? Mixed. Some days good, uh, some days not so good and get quite tired. Uh, the symptoms of a brain tumour can be quite difficult to live with long term um, and my tumours are something that I will be living with for, for quite a while so it's up and down. There we go that's Councillor Jeannie Bell there and um, we'll leave the details of Jeannie's group with the A team you can call them tomorrow from 10 o'clock on 01517940984.